Hello, it's Sunday. Officially one week out from Two Bros Natural Finals. Um, and I'm feeling good. Cardio, yes, it was really hard yesterday. It was a hard day. Um, I had to get up earlier to do my cardio and then go straight to the gym just with one meal in me. Because then I had a family event with Jack's family. So that was a challenge. But I'm feeling a lot better today. And it's a nice blue day. I'm up getting my steps in before it gets dark. It's currently like 2.30. Get stuck at about 4, 4.30ish um, up here in Scotland. So I'm making the most of it, getting my vitamin D. It's actually been so nice to not be away competing today um, and just have a day at home to do chores, catch up on life. I was actually planning my life for the next few weeks. Um, which is just bananas because I finished prep in just under four weeks and I'll be home for Christmas and that is just insane like how quickly this year has gone by it's kind of terrifying um but that's been nice chasing this morning with one obviously get up a little bit later it was my first kind of lion and snuggle with Jack in the morning uh, in so long today uh but I hit a new low way of prep low way in um but yeah, we're just continuing to dig until Tuesday, Wednesday probably, before we start obviously putting a wee bit more food in ahead of next Sunday show. Which will be nice because it's been it's been challenging to do kind of this much cardio after a few weeks of like just lower cardio and more food. But hey, as always, one day at a time, push through a couple of hard days. It's nice to have a not so hard day. Hello, it is Thursday and I feel as dreadful as I look just walking out the gym, pump up workout done and I feel like a prep has just hit me like a fucking ton of bricks today. And we're home after the gym, thank the fucking lord. Oh my days, I feel like prep's hit me like a ton of fucking bricks. Barely recorded anything this week, I do apologise. I might, yeah, it's Thursday today. I'm travelling down to London tomorrow to compete on Sunday. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to walk you through a couple of bits and bobs. But yeah, prep just came out all oh, my days. <sighs> Hit me. <laughs> Hit me! Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> three days out three motherfucking days out excuse my french the weird thing about feeling so tired is that i feel this fucked even though we've been pulling down cardio and we've gradually been putting in more food this week it's just weird i'm just at the point where my body's like whoa and i think because i've had like just so much going on work-wise and oh my days yeah i'll just sit down and do a proper update i think it's overdue. Before we get into it though, can we just appreciate the joy of carbs, cream of rice, oh my days, get my belly. Right, okay, I hope. Is that recording? Because that'd be annoying otherwise. Anyway, we're back in the hot seat. <laughs> so, still Thursday. Let me not look like I'm about to die. Still got my wee blanket here. It's not wee, but anyway, <laughs> time for a bit of an update. So like I said, uh, prep today has sent me like a ton of bricks, but it's weird because like I said, we have been putting food up and like reducing cardio this week, which has been nice. Um, last weekend was pretty brutal. Um, Saturday I had like no energy. Like I just, and I had a family event with Jack's family and it was so lovely but if I didn't have that like that yeah it would have been one of those days where I sit on the sofa after the gym and I don't talk to anyone and I would have been very happy to do that too um but yeah then we kept high cardio on Sunday hit a new low and then on Monday my body weight went up by like 1.1 kilos I was like, I hey, great, I fucking love this. Um, but you know, we're looking good, Vaughn's happy, whatever. I just kinda get to a point where I'm like, you know what? 
nobody gives a shit. So I'm just going to focus on moving forward. And um, so, yeah, so that was Monday. We reduced... Did we reduce cardio? Yeah, we did. We did just half an hour on Monday, Tuesday. 20 minutes yesterday. And like I said, we've been gradually putting food up. And then today, no cardio. But for some reason, like... This is the thing with prep, especially at this point, where you go from feeling fine to feeling awful in like a split second. You know, like I've just had carbs and I feel okay right now, but um probably gonna crash later on. And I've been sleeping really well. Oh my goodness, I don't know, I think I said this in the last one, but fade out, you guys. Fade out by Redcon is the stuff. Like crack <laughs> it's so good it's not like crack because crack doesn't let you sleep but that stuff is freaking incredible um we like helping with my sleep and stuff so that's been amazing um so i'm probably gonna take that with me instead of wine actually for the weekend because yeah it won't give me a hangover and i'll actually sleep so anybody and anybody <laughs> yeah my brain's not working i'm three days out so yeah, so like I was saying, it's just been like a very intense week. Um, podcast I recorded with uh, Liz came out yesterday and the response has been incredible. Um, it's called Don't Ignore the Elephant and we t spoke about um, my experience with disordered eating and kind of my approach to uh, developing self-compassion in regards to your own body and stuff and it was just, it was such a nice conversation and I was so grateful to have the opportunity to talk about those types of things with Liz, um, who is a client or was a client of mine um, for about 18 months starting just before lockdown. I used to struggle with, you know, what is the perfect body because it goes from Kate Moss to Kim Kardashian overnight. Who are you meant to look like? I think it is so hard at the moment. Oh, it really is. And it's, I'm grateful that I did not grow up in an era where social media was a thing because I honestly, I feel oh. for the young people nowadays. Again, just that messaging is 200 times louder than when it was when, you know, when I was a teenager and I would maybe pick up a Cosmopolitan magazine. It's so hard. And I think, as you said there, that question of, well, what is the perfect body? I think we're missing the question of, well, what does that look like for you? And how do we define these things? And who is providing these definitions? Um, so, yeah. And what else has been happening this week? Yeah, it's just been intense. Like, like I've said, um, I'm preparing my first submission for my psychology qualifications again so for those of you who don't know i'm a trainee sport and exercise psychologist um, i'm registered on the qualification pathway through the british psychological society and there's different ways that you can complete this qualification um down the route that i'm doing it which is called independent training which essentially means you're self-employed you got into the world and you find work to do as a psychologist and then you basically report it back um, and you can do that full time in two years or part time in three years or four years. I'm enrolled in the four year part time route just because it means I can actually work and, you know, make sure that I'm making income from um, like both psychology and sort of coaching and stuff, because obviously exercise psychology isn't a very recognized field yet, field yet, um, but we're getting there. Um, so yeah, I've just been preparing my first submission, which um, it's been going okay, actually. I had a supervision meeting um, last week and just based on the feedback that I've then been communicating with my with my supervisor, she's really happy with kind of where I'm going with my work. I just feel like there's so much of it to do and not enough hours in the day. I genuinely like, yesterday I was at my desk, bear in mind I did have like check-ins and cardio and shit to do and steps, but I was at my desk from like 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. Um, which is a long day and then today I've done four and a half hours of literally like just and it's not just four and a half hours on the clock like I actually need to track like the amount of time that I actually spend doing work because I need to log it um and I don't kind of cut corners or like add in minutes where there's no minutes but I've spent like four and a half hours just editing and rewriting and editing and rewriting and rereading and reading and reading and it's just like oh, my brain's fried uh, but it's really really cool to be able to reflect back on the work that I have done as a psychologist over the last year um so that's been that and then, yeah, I'm traveling down to London tomorrow. Um, so I had to go into town today, get some bits and bobs, like the chicken that I get from Max, the chicken that I get from Max and Spencer's uh, for show day, which is like basically protein and doesn't have any trace fats or carbs, which is kind of tastes so good. Oh, that's like my show day treat. Um, and then I went to the gym and I just like, oh, it's just cold, man. I just had no energy. Uh, but I did that. Um, and then I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, I, I basically just need a pack tonight and I need to just kind of figure out what the hell I'm taking with me because 
I'm competing, so traveling out to London tomorrow, staying with Indra, going to Maidenhead on Saturday, exactly as I did last time for the Two Bros Regional, um, and then going back to London after the show on Sunday. Hopefully it won't be as late because the bikini is due to be on stage at 3 p.m. So it will be 4.30 p.m. <laughs> as for Two Bros, uh, but at least it won't be 9 p.m., <laughs> which is great. So then staying in London on Sunday night and then Monday morning, when I normally go to the gym, do cardio and train and whatever, I am catching a train to Liverpool because I'm presenting at the Divisional Sport and Exercise Psychology Conference uh, through the British Psychological Society. Um, so I'm presenting a workshop alongside uh, three other colleagues whom have started the APAN network, which is the Applied Psychologist and Physical Activity Network. Um, so we're running a workshop, which is going to be amazing, but I'm going to be like there with my tan. Um, so we're presenting at 11 o'clock, so I get to Liverpool at like 9. I'm going to go straight to the conference venue with all my luggage. Had to dump it somewhere because my Airbnb, I can't check in until 3. We're presenting at 11 till like 1.30, I think. Then we're recording a podcast, the four of us. Then I'm going to my Airbnb, dumping my crap, going to the gym, training legs, doing cardio. <laughs> then we're going out for dinner, uh, but I can get like some steamed greens and I'll bring my own protein. Um, and then on Tuesday morning, going to the gym, training up or doing cardio first thing, then going to the conference and coming back to, uh, to Scotland. And then... I will be, what will I be, like six days out from a photo shoot. So I'm doing a photo shoot with Tony Thompson, TT Image, a week on Monday. So basically next week I'm back into peak week for a photo shoot, which I think is actually going to be really good because I think it will just kind of make the weeks go by quicker because then after the photo shoot, I'll literally be like 13 days out from my last show. And um, I'm getting to the point where like I know after like, if this was my last show, this weekend, I feel like, I feel like I had more in me. I think because I prepped for 24 weeks last time, I'm like, well, I know I can do it, but it's getting to that point where I'm like, well, I, like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm very tired. Um, definitely more food, food focus. Um, and it's weird because I never buy, like, I've never bought kind of goodies for post-show and stuff, but this year I have, like, not, not that I've accumulated loads of stuff, but because also I know that I'm going home right after my last show. Like by the time I actually get back and have access to the food that I've bought, I'll be like, it'll be after Christmas. Um, and I'll only be here for a few days before we go on holiday again. So anyway, but I bought in October those pumpkin spice bagels. Um, cause I've never tried them because every single year that they've come out, I've been dieting. So I was like, I'm not missing out again. So I've got them in the freezer. They've been there for like over a month now. <laughs> Talk about delayed gratification. And then I've got two Vigo chocolate bars that Jack got me for my birthday in July. I'll be taking one with me for post-show. I've got some like protein cookies that I bought from my protein. Um, I think they've got like two of them and one protein chocolate wafer. So I always take one with me home because um, I've ordered like protein bars from awesome supplements uh, for when I'm home to kind of like help me reverse and whatnot. Um, and then I bought the new Ben and Jerry's. Uh, they came out with a new vegan flavor of ice cream, which is like caramel brownie. So I bought that because I seen it on discount in Nesta. Again, that's like part at the bottom of my freezer. I probably won't eat it until like mid-January or something. Because a mistake I made last prep was to buy a pint of Ben and Jerry's normal ice cream. I think it was like maybe two weeks post-show and I had it and I felt fine. I had the whole thing because of course it's so easy to eat and it's delicious. And then I stood up and I had to run to the toilet because I was physically sick because just the amount of sugar that I was just not used to. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Um, but yeah, so it's weird. Um, but on that note, I am now, I've just had my post-workout meal. I'm gonna go and shower, exfoliate my skin, put my onesie on, do a few marbles of work. I've got a consultation call later. Um, and I'm also going to show you some of the goodies that I got from Glutiwear. Um, like I put in a clip of um, the stuff I got from Compaq. I'm super excited. I also bought a pair of shoes. I think I put this in a video. I'm not sure. I bought a pair of shoes from Reebok and uh, <laughs> Pro Brain. I ordered the wrong colour. So I had to take them to the post office today and um, return them. And then I have to buy another pair because I'm a genius. Um, I was hoping to be able to get them by my photo shoot but I'm not sure I might just have to wash my current shoot and then tomorrow I need to go to uh, Specsavers to pick up a new pair of contact lenses because <laughs> I'm a genius right I don't know if I said this in the last one but I'm a genius um 
and um, the last two shows I have put my contact lenses in before going in to get my makeup done and uh, no yeah well no first show I went to get my top coat of tan and then my makeup was straight after so I put my contact lenses in beforehand with one coat of tan my second show day I had my makeup and then I had my top coat of tan so I put my contact lenses in but with a PCA show <laughs> I had my top, top coat of tan already done and then I went to get my makeup done and I was like I'm just gonna put my contact lenses in as I always do well of course put my finger in the freaking liquid and I was like oh <laughs> tan just coming in my little contact lenses were stained I was like how am I so fucking smart um so yeah that was my last pair so I had to order another pair to carry me over till like my next order comes in so yeah I am a <laughs> genius so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling this is just a pretty boring vlog to be honest I'm sorry um but hey <laughs> this is the reality of prep it's really not that fucking interesting and also I have like no energy I really can't be bothered with most things most of the time uh, particularly at this point and um, also you can see the absolute disgrace state of my nails I have bought glue-ons for my next show because I couldn't be bothered finding the time or the money to go get them done again properly so glue-ons it is and on that note let's shower and let's get back to work okay so I'm just before I shower I don't know why I'm doing this before I shower I'm trying all my new glutey wear stuff so I bought this bra thing which I absolutely love the back on it. Hang on, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I hope you can actually see. No, you can't. Aha, voila. Yeah, you can see the back of it. I love it. I just look fucking small, man. For my arms, I look so flat. That's even after having quite a bit more carbs so far today. But yeah, fuck it all. No wonder Vaughn's just feeding me because he's like, yeah, we need. We need carbs in those delts. But yeah, I feel tiny. Um, but I bought this in black and in white, which I love. I'm probably gonna wear it for my photo shoot actually. So yeah, and then I got two pairs of leggings. Can't really bother trying these on yet. Obviously that's all my fucking clothes. Uh, but yeah, this is what you do when you can't buy food. You buy clothes. Just a few evening thoughts with this glorious angle. But does anyone else get like sad? <laughs> When all the meals for the day are done. Oh, I feel like I could eat. Mm. Even though I eat really mindfully. <laughs> just more. I just like more food. Like Oliver Twist. 